So let's move on to the next question. The function f is given to you by this, where x is not equal to 2.5, minus 2.5, sorry. Now part one, we have to find f prime of x, explain why it is decreasing. So pretty easy, f prime is simply differentiate that value. Now we understand we can rewrite this as 3 times 2x plus 5 power minus 1. So first thing first, multiply by the power should be minus 3, 2x plus 5, minus 1, that should be minus 2, multiply by d by dx of the inside, that should be 2. So you have minus 6 over 2x plus 5 power 2. Now, because we understand that the base here always be more than 0, and the value here is always going to be, because minus 6 divided by positive value, it will be always be so negative, right? Does that make sense? So because of that, it will always be a decreasing function. So like this, because of that, it will always be decreasing function. I hope that makes sense, because again, we understand this. When you square something, it will always be more than zero. Negative value divided by positive value, you will always get a negative value. That's why we have this, and this shows it is decreasing. Now part two, we have to find this. Pretty easy, let y equal to f of x, that is this, over 2x plus 5. Next, we have to make y or x become subject, so cross multiply, you will have 2xy plus 5y have to be 3. 2xy have to be 3 minus 5y. Right, so here you will have what? Y has to be, sorry, X have to be 3 minus 5Y divided by 2Y. So finally from this we realize F inverse, it is in terms of X, we have to write 3 minus 5X over 2X. That is part 2. Now for part 3, a curve of equation Y equal to F of X, we have to find the volume obtained when the region bounded by the curve, uh, the axis, and this line is rotated by this about the x-axis. Again, about x-axis. What formula we have to use again? That should be volume has to be integration, this y squared with respect to dx. Now, we know that the value of y was given to you by 3 over 2x plus 5. From here, y squared will be 9 over 2x This, right, so here we simplify. That should be 9, 2x plus 5, minus 2. Get this, and then finally, uh, let's see what do we have. You have v, 9, pi, 9 pi, and then we have to integrate the value here. You have 2x plus 5, power, minus 2. So here we have to integrate this. How can we do this? Pretty easy. Uh, first thing first, let's find the limits. So we understand that it is bounded by the axis, which means, for example, your curve will be uh, like this, and this is x equal to 2. So this is the region we are rotating. So this is the point 0. So the limits will be between 2 and 0. Okay. So let's see what do we have here. First thing first, we have to increase the power by 1. That should be minus 1 divided by the power. Then divide by d by dx of this, that will be 2. And then here we have the limits of 2, 0. So let's find out. Simplify, first thing we have to simplify, that will become minus 1 over 2 times 2x plus 5, 2, 0. That should be, let's take this one out, minus half outside. Why not? Then you will have 1 over 2x plus 5, value will be 2, 0. Minus half, and you have 1 over, so that should be 2 times 2 over this will be 9, minus 1 over 5. So, 1 over 9, minus 1 over 5 should be this, times minus 1 over 2. That should be the value of 2 over 45. Okay, and this is your volume that you will get. Uh, we are forgetting something, yes, we are forgetting this. Aha, you see? I was about to make a mistake, so take this, multiply by 9 pi. This will be 9, 1, that should be 5, so that'll be 2 over 5 pi. 2 divided by 5 times pi, 1.26. That should be units cubed for the volume of the shape that we get after rotation. 
Again, the main thing we have to know here is if you were to retain about the x-axis, we have to use this formula. If it was about the y-axis, you will use the other formula, which is this. Here we have y, we have to write x squared here. This is the other way around. Okay, that will be your question in regards to functions.